think about African traditional marriage? I think that's the main marriage in Africa. Okay. And uh, once somebody has is married traditionally, that is just a complete marriage. <laughs> But it, 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 what, what, what actually makes our tradition, our traditional marriages to be very unique is the bride price. Because the bride price, some tradition, they will tell you, give this, give that, give that. And by the time you, you, know, you, 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 you cough out all those things, you will know that you, you have gone for something. You know, wow. You've gone for something. And by the time you come back, you say yes. You beat your hand on your chest and say, God, thank you. I've, I've, I've gotten a woman of my choice with something. Now, there are contents of our tradition, and these contents have a way of filtering into the marriage. Wow. For instance, it would have been, no, you, you hear in Europe, huh? another part of the world, that a young man and young woman can just take themselves, holy priest by the roadside, and they join together and probably maybe go to court mm. and make it legal. They're married. Their parents may not know anything about that. Their family members may not know anything about that. Okay. But here in Africa, we cannot do that okay. because of our background morally. Okay. Now, our moral background will see that as not just disrespect, but as an abomination. <laughs> from African Traditional Marriage TV. And today we are here in the streets of Akwaibom State to interview one handsome Nollywood actor generally. And this is him here having some fun, like he's an entrepreneur, an influencer. It, he's some, so many different kinds. And you know, when it comes to culture, you talk to people that understand the culture. So when it comes to African traditional culture, we are here in Akwaibom to interview this handsome man, and his name is... My name is Ima Etugudo. If you want to add evangelist, no problem. But my fans do call me Ekareka Ariabo Masia. Whoa, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, African Traditional Marriage TV. We have a very beautiful vision, okay? And our mission is to organize to the world information about Africa, traditional culture, and makes it universal, accessible, useful, and memorial, like memories people outside the country globally do not really understand. So at this stake, do you, what do you think? Do you have anything, like, um, let's say, what do you really understand about African tradition? Well, um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Africa has a lot and a lot of traditions. Okay you know, depending on the tribe. Wow. But uh, particularly, if we are taking a case study from Akwaibom okay. and Cross River, which the, the traditions and customs are almost the same, almost the same. Okay. I think uh, 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 tradition are norms, beliefs, wow. Wow. And, um, and also the culture, the way people behave. You know, the values, okay. you know, these are the traditional beliefs of some certain people. Wow. And I, I sincerely believe that Akwaibom and Cross River, we do have our own culture. Wow, that's incredible. So what are the things you have, or what are the things you have learned right from childhood? You know, sometime in, in our culture, I hear our father say some cultures are this, some cultures are that. You know, like it differs depending on the tribe you are from. So what do you have to say about, what do you know, the things you know about African culture that you learned right from when you were young? Well, um, I may tell you a little about um, Ibibio culture because I'm from Ibibio. Wow, that's incredible. Um, in our culture, okay, it is um, we have come to know that a child must be respectful. Whoa. You know, when I was, you know, when I I I I I, I was born, okay. I was trained to greet elders. Wow. Elders is, is not only your parents, those that you see around that are bigger than you. And you have to greet them. If it is in the morning, oh, ete mesiero. Afternoon, oh, ete mekomo. I'm sorry, that ete mesiero in English, that means good morning. 
and that uh, it is more common in the afternoon means like good day, uh, right? Yeah, even in the evening, more common. Okay. It is only in the morning that we normally attribute that okay. uh, to a messy area. Okay. You know that kind of a thing. Yeah. And it is in our culture. But today, I don't know why some youths have forgotten that this is one of our norms. This wow. is one of our, our, of our values. Wow. But it's, it's rather unfortunate that I've thrown it away. But I think if this um, African traditional TV is, is on course, I think okay. it, is, it is one of the instruments, you know, to mm -hmm. remind youths that they're supposed to greet elders. Wow. Yes. Wow. Another thing is that, you know, I was born to see a child wow. or, or a youth, you know, okay. helping an elder who has come back from work or okay. come back from the farm. Okay. Oh, it's a young one. Okay. You know, ma, young one, okay. ma, you know, they will, they will, they will, they will collect the goods, you know, from the woman, you okay. know, from, uh, from the woman's head, and drop the 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 contents okay, or sorry. the goods in the house. Okay, sorry. It, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is, it is, it is, part of our culture. Part of our culture. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this is a young one means. Can I help you? Right? Yes, 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 and yes. And means you are highly welcome. Back. That is it. Okay. You know. Okay. Mm. Okay. Wow. I, uh, to me, and I, many more, many more, which time may not permit. Wow. Okay. To me, I was so thinking. It, 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 it is rather unfortunate we have lost most of these norms and Whoa. and values. Whoa. Okay. To me, I was thinking. Um, greeting is not really. You know, some people think. Um, which, which means greeting is, some people think um, greeting is not really that compulsory, you know. Maybe youth of this era, we just think greeting is not really that compulsory. It's not really that a vivid thing that you must greet somebody or collect something from an elderly person. Okay, wow, that was really so enlightening. Thank you, sir. And here is another question I just want you to... Well, I don't, I don't really blame the youths okay. because everything starts from the foundation. If parents you know, has forgotten that greeting is one of the values or one of the culture of our people. Okay. They're supposed to teach their children. When you see an elder, greet. Wow. You know, when you see somebody that is older than you in age, greet. Wow. So if parents can, you know, uh, 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 bring these to the mind of their children, I think we can, we can, we, we can bring it up again. Okay. But today, <laughs> the story is negative mm. hmm. okay wow that's really impressive which mm -hmm. means thank god for african traditional tv because we are going to tell you this in the streets of different places different states because this is really our culture and we just have to go back there so sir we just want to ask you this do you think fertility has anything to do with african traditional culture like infertility like fertility infertility the reactions those things that really make it you know um, in those days, okay. when um, a bride mm -hmm. is given to the bridegroom, okay, so. after every every other thing has been made, okay. like payments of bride price, okay. there is one one particular um, uh, word. It's a good You know, it is a culture when a woman leaves the husband and sleeps with another man. You wow. know the Ekbon Kawo will, will, you know, will certainly catch up with the woman. Wow. Understand? So I think this traditional culture is was very, very important then. But okay. I know in some, in some, in some tribe, it's still working. Okay. Mm. In some tribe, it's still working. But it's rather unfortunate. Some, some people because they they are educated, they say, why should such a thing, you know, uh, become a hindrance to them? They will go to Babalao and say, Babalao, do this to me. Uh, take some money, make some, um, uh, how do they call it? Ebok, you know, that kind of a thing. Okay. Make some traditional uh, herbs. Okay, that's like traditional. So that it will not affect me, yes. Okay, okay, wow. So, but I don't think it's the best. Okay. Tradition is tradition. tradition. Even though you may get rid of it, you know, at the initial stage. Okay. But later, later, you know, the thing will certainly come back to you. Okay, what about those African traditional marriage? That what do you think? What are these things you think? Like, you know, when someone is getting married, a lady precisely, they will give her a wine to look for the husband, and sometimes they will pour the wine on the floor. You know, most of those sorts. Can you really tell us, enlighten us the more? That's a kind of deeper tradition. Do you have an idea? Like, tell us what that really means. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it's a very simple thing there. Okay. You know, in our culture, when everybody gathered, you know, one of the essence of telling the the bride, okay. and the woman, one of the essence of telling the woman to carry the drink and give it to the husband is to is to showcase to people that that is actually her husband. Let wow. everybody that has come to witness the marriage stay off. Yes. Let everybody that has come to witness the, the marriage stay of the woman that wow. she has gotten Married. a man she has you know she's going to spend the rest of her life with. This is really incredible and I think I'm enjoying it because definitely, you know, most of this tradition is some things that we do not really know. We can't even understand. And this is really enlightening. Seriously. Thank you so much, sir. So at this point now, are you telling me that um, if a man, if a man, let's just say, no, issues may come up and they want to divorce or like there is a divorce setting in and uh, is a woman still going to do the same? Uh, is, it, is, it gonna, is there going to be a reverse action of that? Well, I will always kick against the voice. Okay. Because it has so many disadvantages. Wow. Number one. Okay. The children must suffer. Suffer. Oh. What is all about marriage? Marriage is between the husband and the wife. Okay. If there are children, fine, they complement. But okay. in a situation, no matter no matter how the problem is, no matter how the heat is in the family. Wow. You have to tolerate one another. Wow. You know, so I I wouldn't subscribe to the voice. Wow. Mm. Okay, so which means African tradition kick against this. Yes, it kick against. But in a situation whereby, you know, there are some people that are very, very adamant. They say, I have to divorce. I don't want this woman anymore. Now, if you are saying that you don't want this woman anymore, are you a saint? You the man. That's the question. Are, are you a saint? Ah, sir, this one don't enter. Ah, guys, you know, if you want to know more, that's why you need to come to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot to tell you, a lot to give you about African tradition. African traditional marriage TV gives you that thing. Oh, what are the things you don't know about Africa? He plenty, oh, he didn't day, like they full back, full package. Just follow our YouTube channel so that you have lots of them. What's there? Just a click, tap, and you follow. You have a lot to learn. You're an African man, African woman. As an Ibibia woman, do you know how that dream, what it meant? Come on, girl, let's go do it. Come on, guy, let's go do it. So, sir, at this stage, are you telling us that um, when it comes to African tradition, that there are some things we need to go back and amend for it to come back again so that we can have a better African culture? You see, in law, it is said that he who goes into equity, okay. he must go to equity with clean hands. Wow. If the woman is asking the man for a divorce, mm -hmm. you the woman, are, are you perfect? Ah, no. If the man is asking the woman for a divorce, you the man, are you perfect? I won't. So marriage is something we should be able to understand ourselves. You know, marriage is something we should be able to, uh, you know, uh, know the the, what the woman loves and what the man loves. If these two basic things are being understood, okay. I think the relationship will continue to come into an existence. But it's rather unfortunate. Most of our homes, we don't bring in God into, into our relationship. There are so many relationships that you don't see God as the center. Well. And I want to encourage every, everyone, if you have a, a, a spouse, and uh, you people are not really uh, in terms. Mm -hmm. Start praying together. Because it is said that a family that prays together stays together. So if you people can be you know, waking up in the morning and call upon God okay. into your relationship okay. and into your own personal affairs, okay. I don't think such marriage will break. Wow. Mm. This is the things you think, the things you know, that makes African traditional marriage a unique one? I think um, one of the things that makes uh, African traditional marriage to be a unique one is the bride price. Yeah. Um, gone are the days that there was nothing like that. Even okay. in, the, in the Western world, okay. they don't really hammer on bride price. All okay. what they know is to go to church 
and exchange rings. Whoa. They bring in the Bible as a center, okay. you know, to tell, uh, uh, to ask each other question. Will you do like to do this? Will you do this? Will you do that and all that? This one will say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Finish. Wow. But it, 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 what, what, what actually make our tradition, our traditional marriage is to be very unique is the bride price. Because the bride price, some tradition, they will tell you, give this, give that, give that. And by the time you, you, know, you, 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 you cough out all those things, you will know that you, you have gone for something. You know, wow. You've gone for something. And by the time you come back, you say yes. You beat your hand on your chest and say, God, thank you. I've, I've, I've gotten a woman of my choice with yeah. something, not just a woman I pick on the road Whoa. or in the street. Wow. Uh, that's incredible. Viewers, you know, that's really cool. And sir, what do you have to say about, um, you know, we are African traditional marriage TV. So what do you have to say about it? Like, what do you have to say about this beautiful concept you are coming up with, you know? So people who know that there are traditions in Africa that we have to take it back again. What do you think? What well, I have to say here that there are some hidden truths that the public do not know. Well, so if African TV has come up with these fora, uh, you know, those, you know, sensitize okay. to people okay. about what is in the offing, Okay. It is a very, very rewarding opportunity that you have given wow. to people to know some things that they did not know. Wow. Mm. That's incredible. So, sir, please, what do you have to tell our viewers out there about African traditional marriage TV? What do you have to tell them? Viewers, what I can tell you about African traditional marriage TV is that uh, these people have done a lot. If they have been able to, you know, go through the nooks and Clinics to find out some information pertaining to marriage. Uh, it's, it's very, very good. So that you that is about to enter, oh. uh, we should get prepared uh, to know that uh, yeah. by the time I get there, this is what I ought to know and this is what I ought to do. Okay. Mm. Wow, that's really interesting. <laughs> Thank you so much sir, for giving us your time in the street. And guys, you know what? Uh, African, African traditional marriage TV have you covered. Now when it comes to finding out issues about your tradition, just like these handsome actors has told us, oh my God, you, we got you covered. Your traditional marriage services, anything about tradition, Come on, go to our YouTube channel. You are going to have lots and lots more to enjoy. Is it about the traditions you don't know? Have you ever asked your father, how come did we have beautiful masquerades? Like so many things about our culture that you do not know. Come on, guys. Have you covered? That's what I mean. We have you covered. Thanks for watching. But please subscribe to our channels. Thank you. We love you.